Hi guys, what's up? I'm Gia, if you know me. <laughs> if you don't know me, I'm Gia. So, I was actually going to do this video a little bit differently, and I was going to do a video of me reacting to Shane Dawson conspiracy theories, but mid-video, I decided, you know... Not sure if I want to do that anymore. So, I may or may not be turning this video into me talking about a conspiracy theory that I have. I don't know. I may or may not be doing that. I'm not sure. I'll be figuring it out in the editing process, but I'm just going to keep this in here just so you know that I had no clue what I was doing with this video. I just kind of went with it. So, uh, yeah, I'm either going to be talking about a conspiracy theory or I'm going to be watching Shane's and talking about those. I don't know. We're going to see how the editing goes. So until I figure that out, stay tuned and we're going to roll into it. theory that a lot of people maybe they don't think about maybe they do you know I don't know but I, I thought about this quite a bit recently and it's about why is fast food and other food that's not really as healthy for us cheaper than healthier options like for example McDonald's when you go to McDonald's most people don't go for a salad you know there's really no point but let's say you do why is it so much more expensive to get a salad than it is to get, like, a burger? Or two burgers, okay? Like, that just doesn't make sense. Like, how do leaves, like, lettuce and, like, vegetables and stuff, why does that cost more than, like, a piece of beef? Like, it doesn't really make sense. So I'm here right now on realmenuprices.com because I actually couldn't find a lot of prices on the actual McDonald's website. The one thing I did find on McDonald's was like their dollar menu, two dollar menu, three dollar menu. Everything on the one, two, or three dollar menu were like burgers and like chicken sandwiches and like, like for a dollar you could get a cheeseburger. Like if everything was a dollar, do you know how much like shit I would get if everything was a dollar? Like really? Imagine getting a salad for a dollar, like I'd be so skinny, like, and rich, like oh my god, like it'd be the best of both worlds. So. First, let's go down and look at the salads. So they only have two salads on here, but the salad salad and the bacon ranch salad. So those go, let's say, an average of $4.50. Now, if you go see, we're under the nuggets. For just 50 cents more, you can get 20 nuggets, a medium fry, and a soft drink. For 50 cents more. Like, that's a lot. Like, that's kind of a lot. And in the salad, you just get the salad for pretty much the same price. Like, it's kind of like bull, you know? Especially like, I can't even eat 20 nuggets, so that's like for two people right there, okay? Guys, it's literally a motherfucking McDonald's moving. We got 20 more nuggets in there. We bought a smash. For about a dollar less, you can get a quarter pound with cheese. For two dollars, literally half of the price, you can get two cheeseburgers. Two cheese for two dollars. And then imagine you're just like, well, you know, if I was gonna spend that much money on a salad, if I'm gonna spend like almost five bucks on a salad, shit, I'll just spend the same amount of money and I'll get four cheeseburgers for four bucks. And I'm just gonna eat all of them. You know, like some people really think like that. Like you might not think they do, but they do. $3.99, pretty much four dollars, you get a Big Mac with a fry and a drink. And that's still cheaper than a salad. And then, okay, so they do have Mick Pick for two. For two dollars, you can get one entree, so like a McDouble or a McChicken, and a small fry, and a three-piece mozzarella sticks for two bucks. Like, I don't know about you, but like, that's like me eating good. Like, two bucks, I would just get like six of them, okay? Like, why not? And then they have like all these other things like on their value menu, like a cheeseburger for a dollar. A McChicken for $129, a McDouble for $139. Like, dude, like four nuggets, $199. 20 nuggets for $5. Like, who needs a salad? Let's just get 20 nuggets, okay? Like, honestly, honestly, truly. And the thing is, it's not just McDonald's that does this, but this is done like everywhere. Like, this is like a US thing where like fast food and all that is like cheap. And I get it, a lot of people would assume that fast food would be cheaper because you know it takes less time to prepare there's 
just less of everything that goes into it. So like, of course it's going to be cheap. But if the salad is coming from a fast food place, then shouldn't that also be cheap too? Like, cheaper to get salad and all that? Like, just to like, the products for it. You would think it'd just be like cheaper because it like grows naturally. So it's not really like anything extra you need to do, you know? Because like when it comes to like a chicken sandwich or a burger, you know, you gotta like get the cows and then the cows, they gotta like make babies and then they kill them. And it's so sad. I'm so sorry for like any vegans watching or like vegetarians. Like I don't like talking about it either because like it is really sad. But I mean like, like that's what it is. So wouldn't it be cheaper to just like the salads? I don't know. But I feel like that's where the government comes in, where they've made this plan and this agenda where they want the unhealthier stuff to be cheaper. And I just want to say, like, before I go any further, I am not here to tell people how they should live their lives, how they should eat. You do you. Do whatever you want. Eat whatever you want. I'm just saying how I feel like the government is working and how they're doing everything. I feel like they're doing it on purpose because all that stuff that's in, like, a, a McDouble or like all these all this gross fast food stuff stuff that's like gross to me but I'll still eat anyways it's like not healthy you know like it's not healthy it's not good for you in any way and I'm not sure if a salad from McDonald's is even better than that but I mean I guess kind of right but they make it so cheap where like anybody can get it like you just need a buck to get this you need two dollars for this and you get so much like okay slow down but they do it on purpose because that's how americans are first of all they're stupid and i don't fall into this category even though i'm american and i was born here i don't fall into it because i do not claim this culture okay they like what's convenient and quick to them and i feel like that's why fast food is also really popular here because when i go to greece or any part of europe we don't really have fast food like at all we have like one thing and it's called goodies and it's kind of like a mcdonald's but it's way healthier and way more fresh than them and i mean we don't really have fast food like everyone just kind of like makes everything fresh and everyone lives longer in europe too like in greece i know the average age is usually like in the 80s actually let's look up the the average ages that people live up to because i feel like that's really important okay so I looked at the life expectancy for Greece and it is about 81 years old and that's as of 2016. You go to Italy, it's 82 it shows me right over here. Cyprus, 80. They're like pretty close so like we'll, we'll say 81 okay. Let's see life expectancy in America. Life expectancy in America is 78. It looks like it's going lower and lower actually because right now it's a 78.69 years in 2016. If we go back, it used to actually be more. 70.64. 2014, 78.84. 2013, 78.74. Same thing with 2012, 2011, we got back to where we are now. And then it kind of goes down from there. It went, it was up and then it went down a little bit. So could it be possible that it starts going down again? People start dying faster? And is this like just a people who are American, like they've lived through their whole life? Or is it people that maybe when they come to America, that's what they live up to? Like, that's what I want to know, too, because if it's people coming from other countries, like, what is it? What is it like? Like, how come people live a little bit longer in Greece than they do here? When, technically, when people think of Greece, they don't really think about it as, like, techie as the U.S. Because I wouldn't say we're a third world country. We're definitely somewhere between one and two, but we're not as close as we are to the u.s we're still a little bit behind so why is it that people over there according to this say that people over there live longer than over here when we have so much technology and so much so much medicine and advances and all that stuff why do we still not live longer than people in other countries 
it's because of the food because they they market to us cheaper solutions to food that's not as healthy and everything that they put in our food like not even a salad could be super healthy but they could put so much chemicals and pesticides in that that that's gonna be what killing us too and same thing with every other produce or meat and dairy and like any kind of item that we consume and that could be why and that could be because of the government because the government wants to kill us all and they don't want to deal with us anymore because when you think about the government and politicians and all that they just they want money they want power like why else would they go into that position and run for that position it's because they know they're gonna get power and a lot of people say well it's they want to make a difference but Really, even if it is that, they just want their voice to be heard and their voice is always heard. They're gonna get their voice heard and they're gonna get what they want. And what they also get, they get money, they get power, they get all this stuff, okay? So they're gonna do whatever they can to keep it. They're not gonna have the next runner-up come take all their money, all their coin, all their power and this position that they have that they control America. Like, they're not gonna, they're not gonna give that up for another another idiot you know like they're not gonna do that especially because the government is so corrupt um they're literally gonna come and get me and they're gonna kill me <laughs> but i mean that's what it is they just like they they're up to get us that's what i think and i don't really talk politics because i feel like the government is always watching us and they're always out to get us and when you really think about it the government they always say like they're they're for the people but when you also think about it, the government in the past year, I want to say they've been cutting everything. Expenses when it comes to healthcare and Medicare and all this stuff and the president cutting Obamacare and like all this stuff that's like health related. They've been cutting all that so it's harder for a lot of people to get access to like that stuff. So like are they really helping us or are they just really looking out for themselves and just letting us suffer? So. You can do what you want with this information. Um, you didn't hear it from me. Um, if the US government is watching this, you did not hear this from me. This is a simulation. This is not real at all. I'm, I'm not even a real person. This is just, just this is just happening. It, this isn't happening. It's not real. So yeah. In conclusion, the US government is out for the people and trying to kill us, so yeah. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. Um, if you liked the video, Give me a thumbs up, let me know what you thought. Leave a comment below what you thought about my conspiracy theory, what do you think about conspiracy theories in general, or tell me some of the craziest conspiracy theories you've heard of, I just, I want to hear them. Um, share the video with someone you think would like it, and also go down, hit the subscribe button, and next to it, hit the little bell button, it's gonna go and you're gonna know when I post every Saturday. Also, if you go down in the description, you're gonna see some social media accounts, you're gonna see my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat all that stuff, go give me a follow on them and keep up with me and you're gonna know what I post and what I'm saying and what other craghead stuff I'm on, so. With that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I hope to see you next week on another spooky, conspiracy, candy, Halloween-ish theme-filled video. Peace out. <laughs>